Assalamu alaikum. My name is Dr. Abir Fatima. I'm a final year medical student and today I am with my fellow group member Rehman Sabi and we're going to present about the examination of central nervous system. First of all, we have to know about the basic anatomy and general physiology of the nervous system. Then we should know about the techniques which are required about the examination. And after that, we can differentiate what are the normal findings and what are the abnormal findings. And nervous system, it consists of two parts, central and peripheral. Central brain plus spinal cord, while peripheral uh, consists of cranial nerves and spinal nerves. In brain, it consists of cerebral cortex, diencephalon, side balance, brain stem. Spinal cord consists of meninges, cerebrospinal fluid, and vertebra. Peripheral nervous system, it consists of cranial nerves and spinal nerves. There are 12 cranial nerves, which consist of olfactory, optic, oculomotor, trochlear, trigeminal, abducens. Facial, vestibulocochlear, glossopharyngeal, vagus, accessory, and hypoglossal. These nerves can classify according to their functions. Some are uh, sensory, some are motor, and some are mixed nerves. And these pictures show the cranial nerves and their targets. Like sensory nerves, you can show uh, it is in the, it can be shown through blue, blue lines, and the motor nerves can show through red lines. Then spinal nerves. There are 31 pairs of spinal nerves, 8 are cervical, 12 pairs of thoracic, 5 pairs of lumbar, 5 pairs of sacral, and 1 pair of coccygeal nerves. Then we have to take the history for the central nervous system. First, after taking the general history of the patient, we have to know about the, some specific histories, like any kind of illness, infection, any pain, about the behavior, about the balance, about the weakness, dizziness, mental status, any kind of seizure or tremors, any kind of history according to its nervous system. So physical examination we can done through following techniques. First we have to do the inspection, then palpitation. We can do the auscultation of carotid arteries. We have to see about the sensory and motor function. We have to see the reflexes. Uh, first of all, we have to observe about the mental status speech of the patient, about the memory, uh, about the mood, about the emotional status, ability to make judgments and thought process of the patient. So, for the examination of cranial nerves, we have to talk with the patient. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Dr. Abir Fatma. Today, I'm here to examine you. Uh, I hope you will cooperate with me. Should we start? Yes. May I know your good name, please? Rahman Sabir. Your age? 24. Your occupation? Student. Okay. So, sir, I'm going to examine you. I hope you will cooperate with me. Okay. First of all, I'm going to press the one side of your nose. And can you please breathe from me from the other side? Okay. okay? Can you breathe properly? Yes. Okay, now I'm doing it on the other side. Can you repeat it for me? Okay, can you breathe properly? Yes. Okay. Now, can you please uh, close your eyes? I want you to smell something for me. Can you please smell it? Yes. Can you please uh, identify what is it? Mm, spirit. Okay, thank you so much. So, I am doing these examinations to check the olfactory now. Can you please uh, read it for me? Visual acuity and visual fields by closing lights, optic and eye. So, we uh, have to see about the optic nerve. After that, we have to check about the third nerve, fourth nerve and sixth nerve. Can you please, uh, without moving your head, can you see at my finger? Yes. Can you see here? 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 Yes. Now I am going to cover your one eye and can you tell me can uh, if you see properly from the other eye or not? Okay. okay. Can you see this? Yes. Can you see it? Yes. Can you see it? Yes. Can you see it? Yes. Now I am going to do it on the other eye and just tell me about the... Can yes. you see it? 
yes it yes yes okay thank you so much now we have to say the uh, we have to examine about for the trigeminal nerve can you uh, join your teeth for me <coughs> okay so uh, if i'm going to uh, if i'm going to forcefully replace your jaw just tell me okay can you open your mouth for me okay. yeah. now can you tight uh, tightly close your eyes for me please tightly I want to see your facial expression for the examination of facial nerve. And can you wrinkle your forehead and puff out your cheeks for me, please? Okay, thank you so much. Now I'm going to whisper you in your ear. And just tell me if you hear me properly. Okay. Can you can you hear me? <laughs> yes, I can. Okay, thank you so much. Okay, can you uh, please uh, uh, make a sound of ah? Uh, I uh, want to see your mouth. Open your mouth properly. Open your mouth uh, widely. Okay, I am here to see about the tongue and the soft palate. It is it should rise properly and the uvula should be in the center. Okay, so. Now I, uh, I have to see about the spinal nerve. I'm okay, sir. I am going to press your shoulder down, and you have to uh, upward, lift it upwards. Okay. okay. Uh, again, please. Okay. By doing this, we have to see the strength and the contraction of trapezius muscles. Now I am going to forcefully uh, move your head. Just. Uh, put the force with my on my hand okay now i'm doing it on the opposite side by doing this we have to see the muscle strength and the muscle contraction uh, and with the hypoglossal uh, for the examination of hypoglossal nerve can you take your tongue out for me properly out now can you please move your tongue left and right open your mouth widely please i want to examine your tongue here i am seeing any kind of tongue atrophy or any kind of fasciculation or any kind of symmetry but the patient tongue is completely normal okay after that we have to assess about the motor functions we have to observe the gait we have to do the romberg test finger to nose test observation of rapid alternating action movements and heel to sheen test First, we have to evaluate the gait. Sir, can you please walk in a straight line for me? Okay. Uh, can you please uh, walk on your toes? And now, can you walk on your heels? Yes. Walking on toes, we can see the plantar flexion and walking on heels, we see the dorsiflexion of the ankles. And by uh, checking the gait, we have to see the posture, balance, arm swing and the leg, leg movements of the outpatient. patient. Okay. Now we have to do the lumbar test. Yes, sir, can you please join your feet and make your balance? Ahead. Now can you please close your eyes and keep yourself in the balance? Now, sir, can you please lift your one egg, leg? Uh, yes, and jump for me on the same position. Yeah. And can you please repeat it from the other leg? Okay, sir. Can you please bend with this knee uh, and with the other leg? Uh, by this test, we have to see the balance and the coordination of the muscles of the patient. And we have to do it with the both sides of the body part so we can see the symmetry of the uh, body part. Either there is any abnormality on one side or the both sides are normal. Okay, uh, for now we have to see the muscle strength of the patient. <clears throat> okay, sir, can I? I'm going to compress your muscles. Just tell me if you feel anything wrong. 
okay can i see on the other side okay now can you please push my fingers with strength okay now can you please do strength okay we have to do the uh, pause point test at s sir can you please touch the finger with your nose and now can you touch with my finger yes can you repeat it can you do it this way and this way okay by doing this test we have to see the coordination if uh, the finger doesn't touch the finger it goes right or left or it and uh, maybe there can any kind of tremors or any kind of nerve palsy and now we have to see the coordination of the fingers sir can you please join your thumb with your fingers one by one can you raise your hands okay patient is normal uh, uh by heel to shin test so our patient is wearing shoes he cannot perform it here after the motor functions we have to see the sensory functions we have to see the light touch we have to uh, uh, see the examine we have to examine the pain and evaluation of light touch then we have to ability of sharp and dull touch okay so i am using the, here i am using this cotton bird from one side it's represent as a dull sensation and from one side it represent as sharp sensation so can you please close your eyes and just let me know what you feel okay if it is dull sensation just say yes if it is sharp sensation just say no what you feel between <laughs> it is between is it dull or it is it sharp it is dull okay and on this side dull and it is dull or sharp sharp this it is sharp yes sharp uh now we have to do the test for vibrations but we do not have tuning fork so we can't perform it here <laughs> after the motor and sensory we have to see the reflexes here the biceps reflex you can see the test of by the reflex as here there is the movement of the arm by applying pressure through the hammer and here you can see the triceps reflex next this is brachioradialis reflex here is the movement of hand in the end here maybe you can see there is patellar reflex by putting pressure on the patella and here is archelaus tendon reflex movement of the and this is the plantar reflection movement of the thumb now uh so we can't perform the abdominal reflex uh, reflex here in the end we additional assessment we can go for carotid auscultation meningeal assessment or glossocoma scale in glossocoma scale we have to see about the three main things we have to see about the eye opening responses motor responses and verbal responses okay in eye opening responses first if you have no response then it means the there is one the point is one if there is it is response to the pain if the eye is open to through due to pain then the uh, mark then the number is 2 and if it uh, open in response to the speech then the number is 3 and the spontaneous response goes for the 4 and motor responses uh, the no motor response means one extension means two flexion is if flexion is abnormal then it's three if flexion is withdrawal then it's four and localized pain is five if it obeys to verbal command then it is three uh, it is six then verbal responses if there is no speech no sound 
no response then it is one if there is only sound and no speech mm -hmm. there is two if there is speech which is inappropriate which is not right then it's three after that the conversation the patient is doing the conversation but it is very confused and it cannot say anything properly then it's four and oriented speech relate to number five in the end for uh, extra assessment and for the neurosurgery uh, consideration we can see the level of consciousness we can go for motor functions pupillary response and uh, vital signs and this is uh, some glossary of the nervous system thank you thank you so much